My name is Ryan McCullough. I'm the assistant supervisor over here in the warehouse in Odessa. So a typical day is my alarm's going off about 5.30 in the morning or so, and I get up, and then I go outside, and I give my dog a little walk. His name's Axel. He's from a, we, we got him from Humane Society. When we picked him up, his nickname in there was crazy, so it, it matches him very well. And usually I'll bring him in, maybe have a cup of coffee with my girlfriend, or just talk to her and sit down and try to get ready for today, get my mind prepared. Not much going on today. We did a good job moving orders around. We're ahead, we're done. Brian, on your side, do you have anything going on uh, as far as ODM orders? Push orders through yesterday. We're gonna put them on the shelf first thing this morning and then uh, we'll rerun orders this morning and get ODM pulled again today and push through before the end of the day. Anybody got anything for, for us? All right, let's go. So here in the warehouse, we have three different departments. We have our receiving department, which they get uh, parts brought to them from vendors or via FedEx and UPS. And we go ahead and label everything. That way we know which parts are which. We have our shipping guys, who, which their job are to pull parts off the shelf, put them on pallets, make sure everything's correct. We wrap the pallets up before we send them out to rigs on their weekly orders. And then they have what I'm over, which is what we call service. So basically over technicians and like I said, pot shots, make sure rigs are off at downtime. So what I usually do is when I come over here to my department, I get with my guys, see what we need to get done from yesterday. And we all just try to get parts in and out as fast as possible. We'll get what we need to be done from yesterday. I'll start splitting up orders for our technicians. Some of these, these critical items that we've got. The encoders, we're kind of, we had a big stock kind of running right down here. The encoders. Yep. yep. High, high move usage stuff to make sure we've got yeah. that stuff in stock. Anything that we don't have in stock, let's pipe that over. Copy me on that email, but okay. let's get it to the orders people. Okay. And because uh, these guys need those parts, we gotta yeah. get those, we gotta keep those rigs running. And then I'll answer phone calls when the rigs need parts hot shotted out there to them when they're on downtime. Where else is Ryan? Hey Ryan, this is Brad. I need to check and see if you have a few things. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I've got five minutes. Your yes, sir, we do. All right, thanks, All right, thanks sir. All right, bye. A lot of times when we have our on-call phone, if it rings, that's either a rig or technician calling saying, hey, I'm having this problem. I really need this part ASAP. So I'll call a third-party hotshot company out and say, oh, I need a truck now. And they go straight to the rig. We are basically making sure our rigs keep drilling and our customers are happy. We make sure we get out there as fast as possible so we can keep on drilling. Want it over the front or over the axles? Let's put it over the axles. Over the axles. All right, man, that'll sure. work. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it, yes sir. Appreciate you. It feels so good when you get a rig off the downtime. I didn't know a whole lot about oilfield when I was coming in here, and I, I feel like I've gone leaps and bounds of what I've learned, and this is a serious career, not just a job. If someone's thinking about working for HP, I would say go ahead and do it. When you just have your foot in the door, you can almost do anything you want, can go anywhere in the world, and there's so many opportunities. Everything's there, every opportunity's there, and it's just a great company to work for.